right, good morning everybody. Out here on Lake Wiley, October 17th. I got out here this morning at about six o'clock, put the boat in the water, went to take off, and the boat is not cooperating. I, uh, I'm i pretty sure it, it had another coil pack go out. I've had it happen to me one time before, and that's exactly the way it was running. So I was about to just turn back, put it on the trailer, and I'm like, nope. There's some good fishing holes in this area. So I went and found me a little bit of bait back in a little creek that was close by the boat ramp. Come back out here dragging a channel edge now. See if we can make a good day out of a bad start. But uh, hopefully we can put something in the boat and not have to get too far from the ramp. I, uh, I'm gonna stay within the trolling motor distance of the ramp. So we can make a day out of it or half a day anyway. Y'all stick around, see what we can do. There we go. Fish on, number one. Been dragging a long time though. I was hoping I'd get a little bit into them a little bit earlier. But that's all right, I'm glad to have him. Had a bunch of bites, I think Channel Cats is out there on the point. There you go. That's a start, about 14, probably about 14 pounds, 15 maybe. I'd say 14. I'll take him. All right, another fish. Feels a little bit better than that channel cat anyway. same piece of bait I caught that last blue on a uh, piece of shed I mean not not shed uh, perch perch gut 25 foot of water dragging up the channel now I'm trying to actually get out in a little bit deeper water I should get should be able to get out in about 28 or 30 foot of water in this area here let's see what we get here Another teenager. See if I can get him quit him. A little bit better fish than the first blue anyway. They might go 16 pounds, 17. I'm glad to have him today. Alright, here we go, we got another one on. Same piece of bait as those other two blues came on. Shed good. I mean, perch good. All right, I was off on my guess. 17 pounds. Fish are just not heavy. I guess after the spawn, uh, they just hadn't got loaded back up yet with muscle and everything, but that's a good fish. I am glad to have it. I'm gonna put him back, let him grow up. Same rod. I put another piece of perch gut on it. I don't know what it is about that rod today, but that's the one they're wanting. Let's see if we can get another fish in here.
All right, there we go. About like the rest of them. 15, 16 pounds probably. All right, got one on another rod. On the planer board though. Got this one on a piece of uh, shad gut. This fish feels pretty solid. I've caught good fish in this area before. My biggest blue on this on Lake Wiley come out of this area. Right at 50 pounds, 49 and a half. That was two years ago. I used to I used to fish this area. When I first started the catfishing down here two years ago, I used to fish this area a lot. And I got I got to where I needed to start exploring. Because I, I come here every day and never had anywhere else to go or learn to find places. So I started moving around. So I hadn't fished here in a while. Solid fish. Big teenager. I can get him in here without using that half broke net. I think I got one running on that other rod too. That might be the bottom. Put him on the scale. It's a solid fish. He feels good. Eighteen pounds. Best one today. They fat fish. It must be full of muscles. Them things don't weigh much, but it makes them look big. The muscles they have. Thank you, Mr. Blue. Go back and grow up. Let go and you can go off. There you go. All right, here we go. This is another piece of shad, uh, perch gut that I put on here. The bad thing is, I only brought two frozen perch with me. I hadn't come across any schools out here to catch any on the lake. I, hadn't got, I can't run down to where I've been getting them. Let's see what happens. Baby blue. There's another one. If I was gonna eat one, that'd be the one I was gonna eat. I'm gonna put him back and let him grow up. Well, there you go, guys. I'm gonna call it a day. It is about 12 o'clock. Uh, that's a perfect example, though. Uh, don't get upset and quit, which I need to learn myself because I do get frustrated and quit early sometimes. But unfortunately, today I need to leave early so I can go work on the boat some. But come out this morning and the uh, coil pack had gone out so I had a motor run but it won't run about six miles an hour and I don't like running it because you're running on two cylinders but uh, I'm like well I got the trolling motor I got a little bit of bait most of it was frozen I had a couple fresh pieces of bait so I'm gonna try something I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to enjoy the day so I started dragging at 8 30 and it's 12 o'clock now I got six fish in the boat no monsters but hey I'm happy I, at least I got some fish today. That's what I come out here to do. But uh, just a good example, guys. Don't ever give up. Always try something. If y'all like the video, how about hitting that thumbs up, subscribing if you haven't, and uh, hit that little bell so you get notified when I put some more out there. I got to get back on my videos. I've been kind of slacking here a little bit lately. My computer's messed up, but I can do them on the phone. They're, I don't, I don't, they're not as good as what I like, but they... Uh, they still show what I do out here. So. I thank you guys. Y'all have a great day. God bless you all.